Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we have some more NTW3 for you today and as you can see we have the glorious British marching along here in their line formation getting ready and we have a little bit of a different uh, battle for you today, it's, uh, it's more of a siege battle than it is a, a land battle anyway. So we have Britain over here along with Portugal assaulting this, uh, this fort held by the Poles um, and then they are being relieved by a, uh, a French force out here somewhere, there they are, all the way out here. The French with their hussars. They're actually fighting some uh, Portuguese cavalry already. I uh, imagine these uh, Volunteros are going to lose this fight, yeah. The Portuguese cavalry getting beaten back by the uh, gendarmes of the French. But yeah, the Portuguese can see sending over infantry. And uh, it looks like Portugal's going to have to uh, slow down the French while the English make the assault on the fort here. As you can see, the infantry already setting up ready. You have the uh, the line infantry of Portugal, uh, Portugal, Poland. Ready, I'm already sure I'm going to mix up Portugal and Poland today. But uh, yeah, so the, uh, it's about to do it again. The, po the Polish uh, line infantry ready and set up. And uh, yeah, this is looking like it's going to be a really interesting one. We have a, It's only a 2v2. I know people prefer large battles. But I thought this is kind of an interesting scenario that uh, we have going on here. Let's see whether the French can uh, beat the two allied uh, forces and the Poles can hold out long enough. Or will the uh, allies take this little fort and then be able to repel the French from within it. Who knows? But yeah, if you're enjoying seeing NTW3 at the moment on the channel and would like to see some more, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and don't forget to leave a comment to show your support on the channel. And uh, yeah, also make sure to hit that notification bell so you know when the next uh, like NTW3 battle is out. But uh, yes, as you can see, we've got uh, the Spanish, uh, it's the Spanish-French army, it's like the Spanish expedition force into or well, the French Expedition Force into Spain, I should say. Um, so it's quite a good French army that is uh, coming to like save the, port uh, the Polish asses. There, you see, I told you I'm already going to do it like so many times. I've got a three pounder just chilling in here. Are they waiting until like they've got two three pounders chilling in here. Are they waiting until anything comes through this door and they're just going to blast the pieces? Maybe. You can see all the nice, the nice formations. They're hiding in this little divot of the ground as well, which is actually really nice. Nice little position to hold just before, you, like staging ground to hold before you go, um, like up and over. Because I'm pretty sure these guys can just mount the walls, like can just scale the walls anyway. Uh, we've got a little bit more fighting going on over here. You can see that the uh, English are actually scaring off some French cavalry. We've got some chasseurs being scared off by some uh, King's Irish hussars, and they're gone. That's uh, one all really for the Allies. Both sides are scared off a cavalry unit. Looks like the uh, French are going to try and do something on the Portuguese here. And then they change their mind. Infantry coming across now. We actually have got uh, yeah, a sizable amount of infantry from Portugal coming across to stop this uh, French force here. We've got some uh, line infantry of the French appearing. They've got lots of chasseurs, cheval, gendarmes. I wonder if the gendarmes are going to be the most expensive thing they brought. Maybe. I don't know how expensive they really are entirely myself. Uh, oh, it might be these uh, Carassias. They're probably the most expensive thing available to the French in cavalry terms today. And they look like they're just scaring off the British. Who have brought a fair amount of cavalry themselves. They've got a lot of cavalry back here, uh, like in skilling and stuff like that. So it'll be interesting to see what they, uh, what they can do with theirs as well. And the British still yet to go forward. They're actually sending sappers forward first. Royal sappers and miners. I wonder if these guys are going to... Uh, Make a breach in the wall, something like that. These brave men. It's like the forlorn hope, really. Uh, if you don't know what the forlorn hope is, it's like uh, basically just a load of men that volunteered to kind of go into the breach first. And if they survived the battle, then they uh, got a promotion usually and a, and a decent amount of money. It's something, that, something that the British did to encourage men to go into a breach first, because like assaulting a Napoleonic like fort, even if it's like a not even a Napoleonic style fort. Just like the ar armaments that uh, armies had at that point, it's just death. You would die if you tried to assault uh, like any fort, especially like uh, Badajoz, which is a very famous uh, fortress on the Spanish border with Portugal. They, uh, that was a very bloody siege for the uh, for the British. You see the Portugal having to set up infantry all the way around here because it's getting flanked now by uh, some infantry here of the French. What's this unit? Uh, it's like a Prussian unit. It's like a Prussian unit that's uh, fighting for the French in Spain. So many nations involved there. Yeah, they are actually saying that their entire army here are Portugal. They're bringing grenadiers across. They're bringing uh, like Casadores across. I'm pretty sure these guys are like uh, light infantry. 
And they've got their eyes. Oh, no, they've got light infantry over here on this side as well. That's very nice to do some, like, little sniping on these uh, Prussians here. So, yeah, these, like, these guys here, skirmishers, just, I mean, they can't even see what they're firing at. But they're firing into those bushes, and there's Prussians there. Like, maybe they can just hear the Germans angrily shouting. I don't know, but they've actually changed the mind, the French have. They've realized that that's not a very good position to hold. And they're going to fall back. Very smart. Very smart indeed. What's going on over here? The British are still setting up more stuff. They have actually got their sappers to the wall. I don't exactly know what they've done. I'm going to keep an eye on sir, that. Sir, our general is under attack. I'm not entirely sure what they've just been doing. But I'm surprised these like, line infantry here haven't been shooting the sappers. Why let these guys get so close? But yeah, the, certainly the uh, artillery is not doing the damage needed. And the general's been killed. Portugal general, oh no, Portugal's general, yeah, has been sniped by a Polish cavalry and Portugal's, uh, like, artillery is now about to get sniped out as well by Poland's cavalry, a tiny little All unit, men running, 28 men, oh, that is unfortunate, they moved so far ahead, you can see Portugal's army is well ahead, I'm surprised they didn't leave any cavalry back to sort of keep an eye on it, they brought any cavalry, that's the thing, oh, they did, they, it got routed early game. I mean, this is still early game. And there you go. Portugal's now without a, a general. And it's now without an artillery, like, battery as well. How are they going to... They're going to have to assault uh, the old-fashioned way up over the walls. Got the light infantry here doing a bit of damage. They're probably not getting... Uh, I don't know. They're getting, probably getting a few kills. This is going to be interesting. I mean, now this uh, Polish cavalry can just threaten the entirety of the uh, Portugal's rear. Or go all the way over here and deal with stuff. So that's uh, interesting. And here we go. The line battle has begun. Portugal is facing off uh, some grenadiers against... Uh, well, what are they facing off against? Some uh, line infantry. And uh, some port and some more Polish infantry. We've got the Legion of Vistule. I'm pretty sure this is another Polish unit. Or something like that. I believe. I might be wrong. But le uh, yeah, Legion of the Vis Vistule. So uh, like the Vistula River. Oh my gosh. These infantry do not do well. They are like already getting beaten up. I don't think this is a smart idea. I think Britain should have faced off against France and like Poland should have tried to go in again. Poland and Portugal should have faced each other off. Like England needs to get a move on because Portugal's in a rough spot here. Yeah, these sappers, they look like they were going to blow someone up and they actually haven't. So I'm not really sure what they're doing. Interesting. An interesting one, put it like that. And there you go, the first Portuguese infantry retreating already. These infantry here also... Uh, Falling back, they're just leaving the grenadiers up there. Uh, these guys will just get outgunned. They need to send up more guns. And you can see, yeah, infantry here just they cannot deal with the French accuracy. Their accuracy is just like nowhere near as great. You can see, that's why they have such huge units. They need guns. They need like just multiple guns. Oh, we've got cavalry in here. Got the Karassias. They go around the flank. You can see this bank. They, they've gone around the bank of the river and they're able to just charge into the flank of all this uh, Portuguese infantry here. And they'll probably break. They're probably going to break. That's a real shame. And that one, will, these two will definitely break. They broke the cavalry though as well. That's huge. Um, that they managed to do that. That's probably a decent payoff. If that cavalry doesn't return, that's probably a decent payoff. Though they're going to need every infantry uh, unit they can get, the Portuguese. The Poles just haven't seen have so many reserves. They really need to push in to both like the English and the Portuguese. They need to just... like. Firing like this in column is not going to kill many men. All you're just going to do is uh, probably just make some dents into the woodwork here. Unless that's their aim, maybe. You can see that the uh, French are now taking the ground that they've uh, just captured. Got some uh, young guard here, some trilliers of the young guard. Oh, it's got some good units here. Yeah, the Portuguese have no chance of winning this. This is fight facing young guard. They're facing young guard. What we'll come across here? Oh, what's in here? We've got uh, some chasseurs that are just chasing down stuff. Yeah, the Portuguese need to retreat. Get back across the river. Make it harder for the French. They should have never crossed this river. They should have been letting the French cross. Interesting. And Portugal just needs to assault this side. I mean, these infantry units are just not going to get any kills just firing here. They better just try and scale the scale the walls and just try and take take some of these poles out. Same with Britain, I think. Britain's just got to be better scaling the walls. France is now about to get charged by cavalry here, though, from Britain. These uh, hussars here are about to get killed by the uh, the King's Irish hussars. 
Those King's Irish Rassiles have been very nice. Those Crassies returned. That's a shame. It would have been really good if they didn't. There you go. That, uh, that Hussar's gone. That's one less cavalry for the uh, English to worry about. Are they going to carry on? No, they're going to they're gonna fall back. They need to fall back, I think. We've got some Hessian infantry here. This is an interesting army. Spain, the Spanish, like, French army. It's got some very, like, multicultural armies and, and units in it. And also some really good ones, like the, uh, like I said, the Young Guard here. That's a really good unit. Oh, they actually have two Karassia units. I think that's what it is. I think. I might be wrong. Or is that just the same unit, but it's stuck on the wrong side? It is. That's a one unit, and it's somehow it's got stuck in two different areas. Jeez. But, I mean, it doesn't matter, because they've, uh, like, this tiny, like, enclave of the uh, Karassia unit has broken all of this, along with the infantry here. And they're still having to fall back. Portugal is just... Like I said, it's outgunned. It's not going to win. And it's got no general now either. Like, that was the worst army to lose a general was Portugal. The Poles could have lost a the general. They would have been fine. The English could have lost their general. They'd probably been all right. Yeah, look how close they're getting this artillery. This is a six-pounder. I don't think it's really per made for putting holes into this, uh, into this, sea into this fort. But uh, you can see the firing artillery over there. This is, I love the animations on these little artillery pieces. Fire when ready, men. And they're actually shooting against the British there. You can see the uh, British are going to send some infantry across that way. I mean, they could just deal with the French first with Britain and Poland, which I don't see would be a bad idea. Let's just see the shot go off. Volley. Fire when ready. Now oh, that poor guy died. He was like one of the few unfortunate to get shot inside the, inside the siege lines. You're going to fire. Maybe not. Maybe you're not going to fire. That's very rude. But yeah, you can see the British are setting across uh, some infantry here. They're now trying to uh, flank the uh, flank the French, sorry. And uh, try and take some of the pressure off Portugal. Which they really need. Portugal's going to bring all this infantry over here. Like, I mean, they're only volunteers, but they're needed. They are needed. Like, the French have pushed back the Portuguese so far. I mean, these, uh, it's these young guys here, I personally think, that are the problem. These young guard are nasty. They look very, very nice as well. And they truly is. I believe we can fire further. I might be wrong, but it truly is like a, a light infantry skirmish assault unit. But maybe not when they're in that line formation. Though maybe they're not. Guard uh, got the uh, legion of the Vistula there. More vi uh, Vistula legion here as well. Lots of uh, poles serving in, in Spain. It would seem. They could do with taking out the French general. They can get the French general. They're in a, an interesting the position. Oh, uh, the men are fatigued. Yeah, the men that are retreating, running away. It looks like you can cross the river anywhere as well. So I don't know why the French just don't cross like over here to like aid the British. But maybe they just want to take the Portuguese out first. Yeah, all this militia is now coming across. Just a load of bodies and some guns. Not really any quality there. Uh, the British are now sending forward like infantry, but they need to be careful of the. Uh, Chasseurs here, they're actually going to try and do the same thing they did to the uh, Portuguese. They're going to go down this bank and flank. Bank and flank. It looks like they're sending over more infantry, the British. They want to send over their Highlanders and uh, all sorts more troops. Yeah, they need to be careful of this. Surely these British units can form square. They're more elite uh, units. But I might be wrong. And they've got infantry set up here as well. So, I mean, they're going to be in an interesting position here. Here they go. Here go the uh, gendarmes. Yeah, they're not going to be able to form square. Oh, no, they can. Good. It's a bit late. Very late, I'd say. But they might break that gendarme. They broke. They haven't broken that gendarme, but they've scared it off. And now the British carry... Look, what happened to this British? Oh, it's getting shot by a French artillery, isn't it? It's really beaten up. Queen's own... He's going for the general kill. He's going for the general kill. A smart play. And here you go. Can they get more TA? No, they can't. They broke. That's a shame. Maybe an artillery shot him. A rogue artillery shot my hip and kill him. I mean, look at these French units here. This uh, line infantry unit here, Lorraine. It's getting fired from two flanks from the militia and from the infantry. Even at this range, militia can't miss. Yeah, they're in a really bad spot. T 
see the militia pushing up in the uh, back lines there. And yeah, this unit finally might go. Actually, but the British are breaking. Look at this. East Sussex breaking. I bet they're facing the Young Guard, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Young Guard, Swiss infantry. Uh, more Swiss infantry. Yeah, a lot of Swiss infantry here in Young Guard. Being broken in Baltic Gears so. there. I mean, they're outgunned. There's three units against at least five there. They're outgunned, just simple as. And it looks like the uh, Portuguese are going to set up some light infantry across the river here. Going to try and turn the flank a little bit of the uh, of the French. Turning into an interesting one, put it like that. And the British still having a solid over here. God damn it. And Poland's actually uh, giving up giving up the walls. Don't know if that, what his intention is exactly, but he's given up the walls anyway. Yeah, these units are awesome. The Poles are amazing, to be honest. One of my favorite units. This is like the Polish Legion. It's not like the actual Polish army. I'm pretty sure, like, there is actually a Polish faction. This is not exi This is not the Polish faction, but they are Poles. These guys, so they're awesome. They're awesome still. The French, yeah, French being forced back now. And the uh, what's that? The Britons just running down some something over there. Very well. Mortier's still alive as far as I'm aware. Yeah, they've still got their artillery piece. They've got 12 pounders. These would be perfect for putting holes in that uh, in that fort. These 12 pounders. And they're being trained on the British now. The British are like, bringing more infantry across. So they're still being an ever present threat here. And they'll be pushing onto the. Uh, they almost can just go round. They can threaten this cavalry in this artillery position pretty quickly. This is what they need. The French can't. The French may have elite like quality here, but if they have the numbers, the Allies, they can overwhelm these guys. Numbers in the end will tell. Uh, we can hear something going on. We got Portuguese cavalry going after something. What's in this wood then that they're going after? Oh, they're going after Mortier as well. Everyone's just desperate to kill Mortier today. And uh, this uh, Vistula Legion is going to form square. But uh, they're going to go after the artillery then. That's a smarter idea. That's very isolated. And this poor artillery piece is dead. They're like, revenge for our general and our artillery. We'll kill yours now. Yes, I think that's sweet revenge there for Portugal. Losing his artillery and general very early on in the game. God, this infantry is just trash. <laughs> it's just awful. Like, they just get, like, shot once, and they just like, Oh my gosh, we've been shot at. Run away, run away. This militia needs to come around this bank here. Carry on this flank that's going on. I'd possibly keep one there and put one around the flank to help the British. Because these British infantry are just outgunned. They don't have big units. What are they, like, 82 men? Wow, it's not a very big unit at all. I'm, if I was Britain as well, I'd be bringing across the rest of this cavalry. This cavalry could be useful. It's in skilling as well. This is good cavalry. I'd bring this across to come and help against the French. Unless they're worried about that one Polish uh, cavalry unit, which, I mean, I would be as well. That one Polish cavalry unit on its own has just changed the face of this battle. Got King's German Legion just standing here. I don't know if they can't scale the walls or something like that. Is it an issue in NTW3? I'm not really sure. I do like these wooden forts, though. They're kind of pretty cool to look at. Or maybe they're just choosing not to. Maybe they just prefer to just shoot at the bottom of the walls. That stuff. And you can see the French being forced back now. As the British lines come around. Ah, oh, Union Jack, I do love you, but get out of my face. Swiss infantry here, and also in their red, just to confuse the British. They're probably like, how dare those British fight for the French? Sir, they're Swiss. They're Swiss, don't worry about it. Okay. How dare those Swiss, Swiss fight for the, for the uh, French? There's a lion from Trine here as well. They're facing off against, uh, what's up? Well, they're going to try. I think they should just shoot Mortier. Go on, shoot him, kill him. Which one is he? He's probably this guy at the back, isn't he? Yeah, I don't know. Could be any of them. They all look very official. Yeah, look at this. These British units just don't also like fight, fighting against the French. This is like morale is just like getting wrecked. This is 1815 UK as well. So this is a good, like a good army. Maybe it's not as great. It's not as great as the Peninsula. The Peninsula is by far and away the best British army. 
I don't know if it is actually in points, but it should be. Because uh, it's the most elite. But yeah, some of these are like Prince of Orange Zone. They are probably pretty trash. They are like made of just reserves. And uh, farmers. And here we go. Cavalry going in though. Nice little attack by the cat Portuguese cavalry there. They might ra route that Lorraine unit. Then can they get the Hessian one as well? I don't know. Or maybe not. Maybe they're not going to be able to do it. Wow, that cavalry maybe is just not as good as I thought. Got a nice little like attack on them. But now they're no known to be there. Their position. You can see they're falling back at the French. They're going to run back down this uh, road. I don't know why, like, oh yeah, I was going to say, there we go, Poland's actually sallying out. I guess they can't attack this fort then. You can see the masses of Poles here just coming out, ready to face the, uh, ready to face the, uh, English. Here comes another batch of them, another batch of Poles. What are they leaving on the wall then? Just, they're leaving some stuff, I'll bring the artillery out. Run the, is this a horse artillery? No, it's not. Uh, I guess it can't come out. They just get shot to pieces. But yeah, sure. I don't think Britain's realised this yet. I think he's busy microing over on the far side. Um, yeah, he's falling back his infantry. I think he has realised now. He's realised that he could deal a huge blow to the poles and stuff like that. But yeah, these two units here, they need to stop firing at whatever they're firing at here. And start firing at these goddamn poles. What we got here? Carl von Alten falling back. Yeah, they do not have enough infantry here to stop all this uh, this Polish infantry. Might have cavalry though. These cavalry might be able to stop most of this uh, stuff. You never know. But look at this. <laughs> Don't mind us. And they're gonna fight each other in a moment. There you go. the Poles will lose that because they're actually moving on beyond the uh, English. They didn't mean to do that. Yeah, the Poles lost a bunch of men because of that. And these Highlanders as well. Look at them getting shot on the flank. And they broke just like that. No. Poor Highlanders. They're Gordon's Highlanders as well. It's Arturi desperate trying to fall back. And Arthur, they've taken a building? Oh, the French are camping in a building over here. Portugal should come and help the uh, English now. Here we go. A line battle taking place now. Over on this side. I can see those poles off in the distance. Why did only half the unit fire there? Do you not have guns? You look like you got guns. But these infantry here, they could just flank the Polish like formation. Just get in behind, just shoot these guys in the back. You break this entire line. Poles here forming square, stopping the uh, English cavalry, or the British cavalry. I mean, this nine pounder here just put some holes into the square. Carl von Alton's been shot at as well. But yeah, seriously, why aren't the British just flanking with these units? The Poles are just ignoring them. Have a volley from look how close these poor sappers are. Oh my gosh, they just got like destroyed down to 60 men and breaking like that. And they then they break. Maybe they're now gonna turn around and face these British. I don't really know. Don't know what the Polish player's doing exactly. He came sallying out, he lost a unit, but that's not that bad. He's taking a lot more British ones down with him. I say that, he's only mm, taking maybe two King's German Legion and a sapper unit. Yeah, it looks like Portugal's bringing everything over this this way now. Portugal should not go like head on against the French here, though. Should not do that. I mean, he's got only infantry left, so that might not be the end of the world. But it's good infantry. It's like this young guard. They're defending this little, I don't know, monument here or something. They just need to stand here with like a few infantry, few cavalry, and some lights, and just stand here and just don't even like bring the battle, like bring the French to battle because the French are well in. Entrenched. They hold that house. They hold this whole area. And just then, then send the rest of your infantry to go and help kill these Poles. Which are now in combat against the British.
Oh, poor guy. Oh, just got hit in the face with his right with the uh, musket butt. Poor man. Yeah, I don't know what the poles are doing. Maybe they're uh, they're gonna fall back on this line by the looks of it. Yeah, they just want to get rid of these British units that are behind them. I, I'm still surprised they did not turn these units. This is like the South Lincolnshire and this, uh, uh, like, Petanius's pilots? Bodyguard? What a name. But these two uh, foot units here should have just turned. They could have flanked the entire Polish formation. I don't think they're, like, what were they doing? And the Poles are falling back so they can have support from the, uh, like, units on the wall here, which is a really smart idea. The French look like they're going to... Oh, the Portuguese went into battle, didn't they? Of course they went into battle. What fools. Portugal could not win this fight. His, qu his quality is not good enough. And he's got no general. They need to kill Mortier's general off just for him to have a chance. And then he needs the numbers. Like, even French, like... A French army with no general, you still need like a lot of numbers to beat them. Especially with the quality that they have. They've got some good infantry. These a lot uh, these uh young guard here. They'll do their best. They want to become old guard. So they'll want to win this battle. The Swiss here. They've probably got some gold or something to defend, so they're gonna fight to the death. Yeah, there you go. Portugal's already had enough. Falling back. Like, you should never have attacked in the first place. You should never have done that. Yeah, it looks like the, the Poles are going to just fall back in. They've they've had their little bit of fun by the looks of it. They're already going to go back inside the, the fortress. That's a shame. Or maybe not. I have no idea, really. Yeah, they're going back inside the fortress. They've had enough. It's a nice formation they're forming up there. They're going to go all in column. And they're going to just keep these two units outside to cover them. And Britain's been duped there. There you go. Britain has been duped by the Poles. And then they go back inside the fortress. And now the French come forward. Now that the, the uh, Portuguese are all on their own again. The British are like, and Portugal like over here. The French come forward. It's like almost like took a war. So when they, when the British army goes one way, then the Poles come out, and then when uh, they go the other way, the French attack the Portuguese. It's a yeah, it's like a tug of war uh, battle. This one is. I mean, yeah, I think Portugal. Best thing Portugal can do: fall back on Britain. So then, like everyone's in the same spot. So France then has to fight Britain and Portugal, whatever happens, and then the Poles have to fight France and Portugal. Whatever happens, they'll just all be in the same area and then just see who's gonna win it. We've got some grenadiers up here, very nice. And there you go, they're all back inside, all in their nice column formations. And they barely lost any men from that, that was a well worth uh, the assault. I think the most they probably lost was in this battle over here. Uh, yeah, I don't know what these guys are doing. I don't know, they're probably expending all their ammunition, if you can, in Napoleon. And they're literally firing, trying to fire like one, one man on top of this hill, on like on top of this fort. Portugal should just not put men on this wall. And like, what is Britain going to do? Unless he assaults the wall, which he should. Just assault the wall. You'll lose a lot of men, yes, but it's worth it. And France and Portugal are going to have another duke out around here again. I mean, how does it go for you last time for Portugal? Not well. Not well at all. Let's have a volley. You're going to have to face more young guard in a moment, Grenadiers, so... You better be ready. Oh dear, the young guard. What are they firing at? They're firing at some poor light infantry that just did not get out of, out of there in time. Some skirmishes. Our men are running, yeah, there they go. They're gone. France and uh, Poland here have got like the Allies on a string. They uh, they know what they're doing. Like a puppet to them. 
And the uh, all the French have to do now is just mop up this Portuguese army, you imagine, and they're in pretty good spots to then go over here and uh, beat the beat the uh, French. And there you go, he's going to go for it again. Has he gone for Morte again? I th no, he's gone for Voltigares with his uh, French cavalry. And now he's in behind enemy lines, but this year he is young guard will form square. The French player is very aware of the cavalry. Where's Mortier, to be fair? Oh, don't tell me Mortier actually has died. Oh, they actually might... No, he's alive. Of course they didn't get Mortier. He's a goddamn invincible man to kill right now. They can do with the rest of the British cavalry here now. But obviously then they're, the British are probably worried about another sally going on. And now they're going to just make sure they have infantry in front of this gate so they can never sally again. Their artillery is getting point blank range. I'm going to just fast forward and see whether anything happens. I think it's just a, it's a little bit of a low point at the moment. And uh, I don't think it's worthy of a cut yet. But I feel like a little bit of a fast forward is worth, uh, worthwhile doing. Especially with the British. All they're doing is just firing and expending all their ammunition. Probably every bit of ammunition in Britain. Into trying to like kill the men on these walls. Like these walls here would be littered with bullet holes. And uh, it was dense where the bullets have like, gone in. But uh, yeah, they have they have killed like almost no Poles. I think they should have just sally over the top. I don't think this Polish faction that strong. I think that's like the whole point of then like Portugal being played is that then like Portugal and Poland are pretty well balanced and Britain and France are well balanced. Look at that. Portugal is just getting absolutely violated here. It is getting violated. And they're going to fall back. They're going to fall back. And Portugal's bringing the rest of his infantry over here. It's slinking off. Tail between its legs. The Poles aren't even getting on the artillery anymore. They're not even interested. How much damage do these British... Are they in they're just interested in making a breach. But they haven't got like huge caliber guns. These aren't even siege artillery pieces. These are just, I mean, they've got a nine pounder here. That might be able to put some holes in, the, in, in it, but like these artillery pieces are designed for just firing at other infantry or other artillery or cavalry. They're, it's a land battle artillery piece, not siege. You have actual special artillery to destroy siege, uh, like destroy forts. And this is not it. This is not that artillery. And yeah, the French are now going to be able to cross the river. They've Fully, bro fully broken the Portuguese, you could say, at this point. Bar a few little enclaves, like they've got a bit over here. There's a few that are retreating and re-rallying here. But Portugal's got to try and defend the French line now. It's got a lot of infantry left. Well, not a lot, but a decent amount left. Though it's not truly decent, because it's terrible. We've just seen Portugal break every time they've gone to face the French. I can see why Britain doesn't want to attack up here, because he's got... Sorry about that, guys. The uh, the replay just crashed all of a sudden, so uh, I just kind of had to reload it in. But yeah, what I was saying is that I can see why the British aren't wanting to assault this wall, because they have smaller units. Uh, these guys are 85, but even smaller now. They, like, they're down to 40. They can definitely not assault now if they think they're not going to get in. But these Poles, they're like large units, but I don't think they're well trained. I think they're pretty, pretty meh. Could be wrong. I've never played them, and I've not really seen them in action before, but like... They went out and they faced like one British unit in lion combat and they like got beaten up. They beat like some British that weren't really paying attention in uh, in melee, but that didn't do anything major. And they killed some sappers. I think anyone could kill the sappers. I think the Portuguese could kill the sappers. But they truly are going to try and put a hole in this line and then try and get through. But you can see the poles are ready for it. The poles just got like a unit here. It's not looking the right way at the moment, but I'm sure it'll turn around when ready. And they put a hole in this line in this uh, wall here. Just turn around and just fire into any British unit that comes through the breach. I'm not going to beat them. The French are actually not pushing across the river. Kind of a weird one. I would have thought the French could have done it. I thought the French almost certainly could have done it. But I'm going to fast forward again. Because all that's going on is... Uh, just some shots at this, at this wall. Like It's down to 41%. I bet they're not going to do anything to the British and the Portuguese until the wall comes down. Until this wall comes down, they are not going anywhere. The same with the French. I don't think they really want to cross the river. 
Or they wanted to cross all the way over here and get behind the British? Maybe. That's a long, long way to go. I'm going to tire a lot of their men doing that. I hope you guys are enjoying watching this uh, this uh, battle. It's been a different one, an interesting one. Um, it's certainly been had its uh, its slow points, but that that's okay. Every battle has its own slow points, but this one uh, certainly has been uh, an interesting one. There, it's firing out of fifty percent. Look how long it's taken. They've been firing most of this battle at this, and uh, yeah, they have just about nearly destroyed half of it, or they have just destroyed half of it. Um, but yeah, I mean, once they break through here, they'll find so many poles in here. There were so many, I'm pretty sure. They, like, just were sat here waiting. Uh, and the French are, like, not beaten yet. I'd certainly say that the British have to quickly beat the poles and hope that they can hold off the French. Like, they were at the beginning of the battle, but I don't believe they can. I don't think they're going to destroy this quick enough for then the French not to appear. Like, the French are already nearly nearly across. They, could, they can cross anywhere, it would seem, in this, uh, in this map. So I don't know why they don't just cross now, because the British are like, and the Portuguese have nothing done. You can see the Portuguese are running loads of stuff down so that like the British can break in quickly. 60 something percent, 63 percent at the moment. This general here, he's probably like, I don't know, he's probably so worried right now. Michel Claparide, uh, he's probably like, where are the French? I've heard their shots, I've heard their guns. Where are they? They are here to save us. My four can't hold out much longer. I mean, I don't know about that, to be honest, Michelle. I think you could do all right. 70% of the other yeah, walls are going to be destroyed, but you've got plenty of men. Look at this. The artillery, this is, I think, what they're going to do. Yeah, this is a killing zone they have ready. This will be what they're going to do. As soon as they come through here, canister. It's going to be canister for the British. I, I don't know if these guys are hidden. If the British can see this, they should what not engage this. Yeah, look at that. The Portuguese have been fighting that long that they've used all their ammo on their light infantry. That is nuts. The same, I'm sure they, that's the same with the British. They've been firing non-stop at that wall uh, with the English, in, like with the British infantry for no reason. Yeah, here come across. Here come across the French. And now they're in trouble. 80%. They're nearly done. The Portuguese need to send everything they've got down there. Portugal needs to make one last stand. They've got the British Cavalry. Royal Dragoon Guards. Or just Royal Dragoons. And they've got to try and hope and pray. There's some more cavalry over there in skilling. This is good cavalry as well. They need to kill Mortier. Kill this goddamn general. They might be able to beat the French. What's it at now? 86%. This has been a long one, I will admit. It's been a long one for a 2v2, but I guess that's kind of what happens when it's a, a siege battle. 80%, they're going to turn one of the guns around to face the French. Not a bad idea, but I'd be quickly wanting to get destroy this. It's, you've now just halved the, like, the time you can destroy that wall. Oh dear, these poor, these poor Portuguese. These poor, poor Portuguese. Yeah, they're already going to give up. They're already giving up, aren't they? Yeah, r running away. The morale takes such a hit when you get shot in the back. Ninety percent, nearly ready. I really want to see this kill zone in action. They're getting, you can see the Polish is getting more infantry up onto the onto the wall. So as soon as they come in, they're going to get shot in the back, front, sides, everywhere. The British have no hope of taking this. Uh, this area here, I'd imagine. They're going to have to, like... I don't know. Like, the first unit may get hit really hard. The second unit might not. I mean, this is not good, though. This is not good by Poland. Putting infantry in behind his uh, artillery. Unless he's just going to... not. If he doesn't fire, that's okay. It's just keeping it here in support. Like, so they, if they try to rush the artillery, he could just charge this infantry forward. Uh, but he should not be firing his... Uh, he should shoot his only artillery crew. But, uh, yeah... Portugal still falling back. I'm just going to fast forward again because running, we're not really seeing missing much. We've seen this already a million times. Portugal getting beaten back by the uh, French. French still in healthy numbers. Where's Morte? He's there. Is that him? No, it's Voltaire. He's really close to his infantry line. I like that. The French player is not letting Morte get killed. Like, he knows that that's what they want to do. You see this in skilling here. Waiting for the opportunity. And they're nearly on the British. The British have their guns here now, the nine pounders. 
They're gonna put One some of holes. Units has used all its ammunition, <laughs> okay, look at this. Oh, they've killed more. They've broken Mortier. They've broken Mortier. Don't think he's dead. But they just put some huge holes into him with that nine pounder there. And he's like just routed. So that's huge. Um, I don't know if it's gonna stop the French though. Oh my god, and the French just walked on by this, uh, like, Vistula Legion just walked by this militia and they just got, like, picked apart. The French are getting a bit, a bit too cocky, I think. They're just kind of moving on past these few units of infantry. Like, they mean nothing to them. I mean, I guess they do, but they haven't even destroyed this. Come on. Come on, Britain. You've nearly done it. You've nearly done it, man. 95%. Don't give up now, just because the French are arriving. Swiss are breaking, though. That's the first of many, I hope, for the French to break. Legion of Vistula aren't looking so hot. They're trying to push forward on this uh, gun emplacement. Instead of doing a lot of damage, guns and uh, infantry together, that might be what the Portuguese need to win this. I mean, you're going to need a lot of guns, though. Put some big holes into these units. I mean, I'd be shooting these two healthy units back here. These look fairly healthy. But they're in nice clumped up columns as well. I don't know if these units are just bugged or something. I don't know. But the French are just ignoring them. French are just like, ignoring them. Uh, they've sent in some light, some like lion tree, a lion. Sorry, I think these are guys without any ammunition, and they just got killed by the uh, Vistula Legion. And they, they've rallied again anyway before they were even like really under threat. Where is... Is artillery going off somewhere? They're right in front of their artillery, but I don't know whose it is. They're bringing over the other one as well. No, just destroy this. Come on. I want to see this kill box in action. But maybe they're just going to... I don't know. Maybe just, the French will beat them. I, I have a feeling the French are going to beat this army. 73rd Highland Foot. They're not looking so good. Yeah, I mean, this cavalry's got no purpose now. I mean, it could have gone for Mortier. Mortier's gone, though. Just charge on the back of some of these infantry. The militia coming up. See if they can get engaged. Like, these guys get engaged with infantry. Then they can just charge in and mop them up. What we got here? Some Le uh, Laguerre. Altergares. It's going to be a rough one. Yeah, poor oh, look at that. The gun's already breaking. Got shot to pieces, I have a feeling. It lo lost the whole gun here. Why? How did it lose a whole gun? Not a clue. Maybe it just got shot and the gun decided to disintegrate. Could be one of many. Yeah, here you go. The poles are now sailing out again. Grenadiers coming out. I don't know what happened in this battle. It's been a weird one. I'm going to just put it down under weird. What Britain has done this entire battle with this, this one here as well, South Asia, has just stood here the entire battle. And just been firing it like there. I mean, it's got a decent shot off there and stuff. King's own foot gonna break here though. Being charged by poles. Our men are running for. And they form square here, and they scared off any uh, any cavalry expect like any cav reinforcements. They can reform line, and they can just kill off these poor poles. On the poles. Portuguese. God damn it, I did it again. So I'm going to fast forward now. It's kind of the end of the battle. And I feel like we know what's going to happen. I feel like we know what's going to happen. It's just going to be the Portuguese going to get pushed back. It's poor artillery as well. I mean, they should have just finished destroying the wall. And then we could have seen the kill box in action. The Royal Dragoons are back. They just need to go after like... Something. They can't just keep doing this. They're going to break. Our yeah, like running, that. Sir. And the Portugals is trying to move forward, get closer to the enemy, and it's just ending up getting closer to their guns and death. Light Dragoons here. That's the last hope. These Light Dragoons, what are going to go for? Going in for some light, uh, some light infantry. They actually have managed to get in there. They might route some of these guys, but it's unlikely. They broke one. They broke one of the line infantry. Don't think they'll get any more. This is like Prussian like legion as well. Like forgot entirely about it. Uh, the Poles did send out some grenadiers and they did die. 
Well, that was kind of expected. They just charged one unit out into the entire, like, formation. And then the battle's coming to a close. And I feel like there's going to be no ending to this. It took a very long time for a 2v2. Very long time, but yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna fast forward again. I think we're just gonna get to the end of the battle, and we're gonna see that uh, the Britain's not gonna have, like scale, like sent anything out. The Poles are sending everything out again. Just no surprise. I mean, they could have done this at the very beginning of the battle. I think they'd have been fine because France had like uh, Portugal on the ropes the entire battle. At no point has Portugal been on top. Um, really, uh, apart from when Britain Our came over to support running, it, but as you can see here. The poles are just like able to go up. Maybe actually these poles are better. Like they just instantly routed that port, like that unit of uh, the British. But they are like outnumbering them. Oh my god. They're gunning these guys down. These poor British just get destroyed. That was hor horrifying really. And yeah the poles and the uh, French are going to take the field. And yeah this is definitely a French victory. For sure. French victory for sure. What are they facing now? What's this? Oh, it's the Port Artillery. These brave few men. These are braver than all of Portugal's army, I'm joking. Portugal fought hard. Just that Portugal's just not a great faction. Oh dear. What a way to end the battle. Just watching the murder of some artillery crew. The murder of some artillery crew. Poor, poor man. Yeah, you can see, I don't know what Britain's like, army's doing here. I don't know if it's bugged or what. I'm really not sure, but he's just got his army just kind of stood here, just doing nothing in a divot. And Pol Poland's just kind of gone. I don't even know what Poland's attacking really now over here. There's nothing here. Britain and France. Oh, there's some British cavalry here. How the heck did these guys just get here? There they go. They've gone in for the young guard. Snuck in. Trying to take this young guard out. And there you go, a draw we have. Uh, but yeah, this was sent in by Smokey, who was playing as Portugal. Look at the amount of kills, like, the Allies got. I mean, they didn't get many kills entirely, like, uh, per um, yeah, Poland didn't get many kills either. Like, the French got the most kills, by far. But well done to Smokey and to Nobre, uh, to, uh, Min Minarinka Minarickle, uh, and to Bambi. I definitely butchered those names, I do apologise. But, um, but there you go. Yeah, this, uh, it was an interesting one. The French definitely won. I mean, like, they, they were just going to win that easily, I think, at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, I mean, the cavalry here for Portugal getting the most kills at 90 kills. Nothing even getting 100 kills for Portugal. A real shame. Um, but yeah, there you go. Portugal, definitely uh, not one you want to put up against France. Maybe they would have done okay against Poland. Who knows? Um, we'll never know in this battle. Um, but if you guys enjoyed, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you in the next battle. Bye for now.